There was a very interesting session this morning that I was kindly invited to chair, looking at the evolution of therapy in CLL. And we were lucky enough to have a great faculty. We had European representation from Paolo Ghia in Milan and Stefan Stilkenbauer from Ulm. And then from across the pond, we had Jeff Jones from Ohio State and Brian Kaufman. And Brian is a general practitioner, but a CLL patient and an advocate for CLL patients internationally. And it allowed us really to explore a lot of the new, challenging and exciting areas of CLL management. Paolo started off running through laboratory and clinical aspects of CLL that help plan treatment decisions and really emphasise how things are changing in terms of our understanding of the genetics of CLL and how this is feeding through into decision making. And certainly uh, that's different now from how it was a few years ago and will impact ever more on how clinicians manage patients with CLL. Stefan Stilgenbauer was able to talk us through some of the new first line data. Of course, there are very exciting things happening. We are moving away from chemotherapy, potentially to a chemo-free era. Ibrutinib has just got a license now for first-line treatment in Europe, as well as in the US. Um, of course, we're a long way from getting that drug for our patients, and it comes with various pros and cons, but it's really exciting to see the change that's coming. And other novel therapies, acalabrutinib is now in trial and data being presented here at EHA for the first line use of that drug. And then the relapsed refractory setting, well, that was taken on by Jeff Jones, as I say, from Ohio State. So Jeff has done a lot of work with John Bird on novel therapies in the relapsed refractory setting. He's got experience with ibrutinib over many years and experience, of course, with venetoclax and other new drugs. And so it was great to get his perspective, some of the long-term follow-up data on ibrutinib and just to hear how his patients are doing. And then integrated with all of this, it was really good to have Brian's take uh, on life from a patient's perspective. And he really made us on the panel and the audience think about how patients understand the messages from their doctor and how patients look look elsewhere they look beyond their clinician to the internet to patient groups to forums um, and it was really good it was good for us to think about where patients get their information so when they leave the clinic having talked to us and our nurses and we think we've given them all the information they need to know well actually they're probably getting more information from the internet from uh, other patient sources so yeah it, it was a it was a really good session we covered a lot of ground and i think the bottom line is exciting times for cll uh, good for our patients that so many new things are happening and i'm sure in five years time we'll be uh, treating patients quite differently from what we are doing today <laughs>